Here we go, week 14, TC3045, software quality and testing we'll go through. And remember, you can go to Ken's courses anytime. You can see our course. Our course has all your publications and we'll open up the course on Canvas. So today, there's no quiz because I didn't give you any reading over the holiday break. The remaining quizzes are the following two Mondays, quiz 15 and quiz 16, week 16, which are chapters 13 and 14, respectively, which will be next week and the week after. Um, Thursday will be a practical project on code quality focused on the use of linters like lint for JavaScript or lint for Python or lint for Java or whatever you want to want to look at different linters. I will lay out a um, basic framework of what I want you to do for this assignment. This will not be a required assignment. Um, I don't want to overload you with more work, uh, but I'm not going to do that five part thing to you again. <laughs> Uh, although I did like that, and some of you did. Um, what I want to do is some of you are asking for another kind of practical exercise related to the course content. So I'm going to put that together for the Thursday class. Um, again, all the information will be there for those that, that don't make it um, in my policy of making everything possible to do outside of the classroom. Uh, so again, I'll be there today and i'll be there on thursday as well for anything you need you should schedule your pending visits or or note the ones you already made if you didn't note them before they're linked there meeting one two and three um, remember you can you can see many times so th so those visits you can say um, you can decide i don't need to visit you can so just I'm, i don't need it i'm busy or or, or I don't feel comfortable going. That's fine. Um, what's important to notice, it's not just about the content of the course. Um, our roles as professors is to be guides for your present and your future in your degree programs. Most of the students that see me every week, and I see a lot of students every week, are students that aren't even my students this semester. So feel free, again, even if you, uh, you don't make any of this semester anymore. Uh, you can pass that three meeting limit. It's not a maximum. And you can visit me anytime during the summer, during other semesters, or after you graduate. Uh, you can contact me via Twitter, Facebook, email, use that scheduling system. You can find me and I'm happy to, to spend some time uh, helping you out or just chatting about what's going on. The teaching evaluations will open tomorrow and is available right through May 8th. Remember, these are anonymous. We will not receive the results until after uh, all grades are posted and the semester is over. Usually it's on the day of the graduation ceremony that they release these for us. Um, it's very important for teachers to get feedback on our course content, pedagogy, way of grading, uh, choice of the book and some other things. I will actually be producing another um, survey about the course that I'd like you to answer, um, including things like the book. Um, and I'm, I'm in an assignment called course evaluation. It's just worth one point. The idea here is you could submit proof that you did the teaching evaluations, although I can't and shouldn't force you to do these. I really would like to have 100% participation. So please take the time. It will take you probably an hour to do this properly, um, since there's a lot of questions on a lot of teachers and then filling in the comments for each one. So find a moment when you have time grab a coffee or whatever you you want to enjoy while you're doing it and do that. And then I have a link um, in that assignment. I ask if you want to give me direct information about this course, that's not to the general evaluation, you can submit a post or you can just write text in the assignment or um, the post could be public or something private and sent to me your choice. Um, and that's in that last assignment course evaluation, which is due May 8th. And that's about it. So I'll wrap up and I will leave you um, with this video. Thanks. I'll see you later today.